Hey guys, what's up? Stefan Hawking here. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently in Wildstar. Uh, I went ahead and popped the 60 bucks to see if the game is actually worth it. Um, so let's go ahead and run around a little bit and see what this game is about. Um, if you guys play MMOs, you guys should already know there's uh, grinding, questing, etc. Things like that. Fighting mobs, gearing up, reaching max level, etc. Um, the concept's still the same. It's just basically a new atmosphere. But now we're going to see if it's worth uh, 60 bucks plus a subscription. Okay, basically Wildstar is like a western sci-fi. It's more futuristic. Uh, that's basically what called me to the, to the game. Because I was kind of tired of dragons and things like that. Okay, let me see. Do I have anything to sell here? Of course I do. Let me go ahead and get rid of all these here. Let me see level nine. Okay, I could equip those. Oh, let me see if I could repair. See, as you can see, you could repair, sell, buy, buy back, anything at a vendor. Um, it's not much different from other MMOs. Okay, let me equip this shield. that's higher than the one I currently had. And these pants are better than the ones I currently have. Okay, let's see how I look now. Oops. Oh yeah, look at that monster. All right, so a lot of times, oops, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. A lot of times you'll run into these, uh, see these little things right here. You click it and interact with them. It's usually F. And it'll usually do something. When you're here at a base or something, it'll give you like a buff. Oh, somebody wants to duel me. I had no idea who I'm dueling. Okay, so I'm dueling somebody. See, as you can see, uh... There he goes. Uh oh, uh oh, let me get my dodge on. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just spamming the buttons. Oh, got him down at half life. Keep my range. I just, I feel like I just determined like the hunters. Oh, look at how low I got him, though. But, um, oh my god, I need... So, how do I heal? Do I get to heal automatically, or... Oh, no, wait. This will heal me, I think. Will it? Nope. What? I want to heal. Okay, this will heal me. Well, I don't know what that did, but uh see so as you could you can see you could do people there. Um and basically as you can see here on the right of me, there is a lot of quests that I need to do. Uh it works just like uh just like wow. You hit your map key the M key. Uh this is the continent that I'm currently on right now. Uh exclamation points are quest and basically you complete them and take them back there's some quests that you could complete and remotely uh, turn in uh, you usually see like a little icon that you click to see the prompt and uh, you turn it in um let's see what else it has a typical character page see it shows you your gear your stats titles your reputation and mounts uh, let's see what else you could do here. Here you can set what uh, keys you want on your icon. On your um, hot bar, excuse me, your action bars. And you could do this and that and pick which ones you like preferably. Uh, this, I am still working on. I have no idea what this is right now. But, uh... 
I will figure it out and see what's going on. Let me see. Deflect, deflect. Oh, okay. So. Okay, so these are like your, like buffing up your particular stats. Let me see. Increase critical hit chance by two. Okay, I clicked on that. Increase assault power by two and a half percent of your current maximum. Clicked on that. Okay, in the middle it tells you what, uh, what, uh, how many, uh, points you got to spend. Oh, okay, I see. And they are called amp. So basically, your skill points are called amp. Let me see what this does. Increase critical hit severity by 4%. Unlock the salt rank. 2. Nice. Increase critical chance, of course. Ready. Let me use the set. And now I got more crit chance on my guy. Um, so let me see what else. Okay, let me walk you around here. Um the graphics of the game are very I don't know if I could say different but they are definitely more cartoony you know they're not the Guild Wars artwork type style they're not the how do I say it uh, old school cartoony wow if anything I would say it's a cross between maybe it's not as cartoony as Borderlands 2 either. But it definitely is a nice different uh, look and feel to it as far as the atmosphere goes. Um, here's something. What's this? Oh, okay. I need to find those and revive them. Okay, I could do that. Um, let me see here. As far as graphics go, I'm running on a GTX 780. I have an i5 Sandy Bridge and I'm running a GTX uh, 780 and by default let me see what these uh, settings are set to because I have not touched anything. The only thing I changed was to run on, on borderless. So it is running everything texture quality medium, dynamic shadows medium, uh, density medium, small object details low, render resolution normal, surface material quality normal. So I would say it's running everything on between normal. I guess that would be what medium. And I'm running on a GTX 780. So I'm not sure if this game is optimized yet or what's going on, but I should be running way more than I am now, or way higher. Um, but even then, the game doesn't look too bad. Now let me see what I was here. Uh, what could I show you guys? Um, let me go ahead and get out of this real quick. Uh, let me show you what the game, what the game entails here. So to get out the game, I just hit exit. I mean escape. Click on switch character. Give it thirty seconds, and it will go ahead and log me out, and I'll take you to the create the character screen. Um, for you guys that uh, don't know or have watched my videos, you know I don't edit it. I'll go ahead and just go straight through it um, and just tell you what I feel. Um, while this is loading, uh, to be honest with you, I wasn't going to buy Wildstar uh, or ESL for that matter. ESL I passed on. I played the beta and it was just like, no, I thought this game was trash. No offense to anybody that likes Skyrim, but... The single player Skyrim is different. When you're talking MMOs, you gotta remember you're building content for people to group up and take down together. ESO never felt like that at all, even when I played in beta. I gave it a couple of days and I just never felt anything intriguing about it. The world is huge, I give it that, but other than that, I just wasn't too intrigued by it. Okay, so this is the character uh, create screen. Okay, so let me go ahead and click on the create a character here. Okay, when you create a character, you get two choices. You get to be an exile or dominion. Two factions. Basically, if you play WoW, you think of it as a horde and alliance. If you played any like traditional MMOs just think of it as like humans versus orcs or something of that nature 
Okay, then we let's check out the classes we got. We got a warrior. Um, typical tank and spank. Take all the damage. Keep all the threat on it while everybody kills something. An engineer. From from what I take it, uh, seems to be like a range, but could also kite because they do have some taunt spells on the engineer that I just showed you. So here's what the class information details. The engineer utilizes the technological mastery to craft the right tools for any situation, most notably ones where they where heavy fire is necessary. Okay. An Esper, I don't even know how to explain her. She's like a medic. She's like a hybrid, or like a medic. Uh, how do I explain it? Think of it as a priest warlock deal from WoW. She can heal you with her illusions, but she can also like curse you or torment you with them. A medic is self-explanatory. It's there for healing. That's what a medic does. Um, I'm not sure how you could play it because I'm not too familiar with all the skill set yet. But uh, a stalker, uh, think of it as a rogue. That's what there is a ro That's what basically they are a rogue. A spell slinger, I'm not too sure of. Let me take a look here. Class information. Spell singers are uh, steely eyed gun for hire using deadly precision and acrobatic agility to put their enemies in the ground. With a lethal combination of head triggered pistols and powerful magic, the spell slinger is a dangerous foe. Blasting enemies with a deadly barrage of bullets or casting runic sig uh, sigils that slow destruction or that sow destruction and death. Um, more DPS. I it, I don't know whether to consider them like a hunter type class or the engineer hunter type class or to consider them like a mage type class, except with guns. Um, other options you get to choose is um path. I believe each path gives you different things to do in the zone. For example, on my engineer, I chose explorer. With the explorer, you get to just explore more of the zone it'll ask you like to jump here jump there it's almost like doing those jump puzzles in guild wars 2 okay so let me go ahead and give you guys the looks on how how they look this is the mordash this is the male character and let me see mordash mordash whoops Okay, more dash male, more dash female. The Granok male, which I play, Granok female. The Orin male, the Orin female. I I don't know why, but I have a feeling girls are gonna play this one a lot, especially since they got like little tails behind them. Then you got your humans. You have to have humans. All right, so let's go to Dominion. Let's see what they got. They got Cassian, Cassian, or whatever they're, however you pronounce that. Cassian, male, Cassian, female. Look like humans to me. Draken. Okay, these guys look sick. Draken. Long tails and everything. Female. Before was the male, this is the female. And this is, I think, like the coolest uh, race of all Chua's I pronounce it Chua look how cool that is then you got the Makari who look pretty intimidating check that out that's the male check out the female the Chua's the Kraken I said the Kraken, excuse me, the Draken. Okay, uh, let me see what else I could uh, show you here. Uh, let me cancel that. Let me get back into the game here and see what else we could talk about. Um, like I said, some of the things I did like about a Wildstar was that it's it is a different atmosphere i mean you, you can't, can't sit, sit here and, and say hey this is like wow or this is like, like your traditional mmos with dragons and things like that 
That's, that's one, one thing, thing that I like about it. it. Now, now, if you, you play Star Wars, you might find, find some similarities to it. Um, I, I can't, can't say, say it's, it's like Guild Wars 2 because Guild Wars, Wars 2 just was, was like a different type of game, game to me. Even, Even though NC Soft made it also, it just feels, feels different than this. Same, same kind of mechanics, so you got spells, skill sets, and everything. Um, I, I think, think the itemization in this game is better than it was in Guild Wars 2. But, but you still, still have the... You still have the... Dodging effect, except they, they use it better in this game. I think in uh, Guild Wars 2, it was way too much uh, Zerg. I mean, you, you die, die, somebody runs around, around res you, you get back, back up, do as much damage as you can, die, do it again. I, I didn't like that aspect of it. Plus, no Holy Trinity. I, I thought this game is a trouble. <laughs> After I maxed out and I realized that I leveled the tank for no reason, I kind of stopped playing it. All right, let me see here. So let's, let's go over here, here and see if I could do some quests with you guys to, to see what we're missing out on here. Okay, I'm going to run in here. No idea why. Oh, my stars. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, stun this. Burst fire. As, As you can, can see, see, when you use your, uh, when you use certain spells, you build up meter here. And I believe that either uses your flag cannon, or you have this other spell that's like a LG from Quake. You just light everything up here. And you also got, um, uh, see, there's certain spells that you can only use when you crit. Alright, so, take that out. See, the Drops right here. So let's see what just dropped. Okay, well, this is a massive obsidian great sword. See, those are for warriors and stuff. I can't use it as you can tell, it's in red and marked. Okay, what we'll dropped? This dropped. This is level four, I don't need it. Alright. So I'm running in here. I don't know if I have to be in here. But it's whatever. I'm trying to show you guys what the game's about. There it is, stun them. And then I automatically get a button. That's my R button by default that does this. It gives me a buff to do extra damage. That is cool. And then the cooldown on that is a minute. So it's basically like a DPS trigger. Wow. Just to make it smooth. And, and now, I know it gets kind of weird seeing that uh, blue thing come out on the ground, but that's basically just saying uh, what kind of range you have. You see, like, you use that to, to time it, and you see how it moves down? That just means that's when that, that's when that, um, that spell is over. Especially the one that I'm using. Hit B. Get all that. Okay, okay, in the tab right here, you, you see something, something called camera clearing. You see the timer? Usually you set off challenges, and it's going to challenge you to, to do something. And if you do what it has to be done before the timer runs out, you actually get access to, like, uh, to some, uh, some extra loot. So, let's go here. Like 
44% to even get anything. And it would suck if places are mad crowded. Just running straight ahead and trying to triple kill. And trying to get everything as much as we can here. Yeah. Right, what do I need? Okay, I'm at 78%. Need more. I got a minute. I don't think I'm gonna get it. See how you dodge the red too? It's that simple. Um, it's probably easier now at low levels, but um, from what I saw from the high end content, the rating that people are doing already. Maybe it'll get a little bit more difficult. At first, first I was very, very um, how do I say it, um, skeptical on how that was going to work. Because they're this saying this game, some, some people are saying this is like old and a little while where it, it, would, it, it takes, takes more skill than anything now for this game. But to, to be honest, honest with you, if it's, it's telling you where the old area is going, I'm like, I don't, I don't see how that's harder than it would be a little while. Challenge failed. And I failed the challenge. Okay, let me get out of here. Let me uh, run this way. Yeah, so when you're gonna buy this game, you really gotta consider it, okay, 60 bucks. You don't have to pay the $15 subscription right away. You get 30 days to decide if you really wanna pay and continue. Is it gonna be better than WoW? Mm. I don't know, to be honest with you. Double kill. Because beta is out in WoW. Um, and to say that it's a WoW killer, nothing's going to kill WoW for a while. You're you're, people are comparing a game that has nine years ahead of, of this game. Right now, the only thing that really keeps WoW alive is that, yeah, it's a more um, a game with way more content. But people, people have, have invested so much time into the game that they don't want to give it up. I mean, I look, I look at it this way. I've played a while since Vanilla. I have retired numerous, numerous times. But I still have my characters. So you could say I have like 7 or 8 level 90s that are okay gear. I don't really like play hardcore anymore. But at the same time, I don't want to give them up. So when the expansion comes out, it's, it's cool, cool to say, okay, I'll buy the expansion, like WAD, when it comes out in December. I already got my characters 90, they're ready to go. So, you know, it's why give it up. You know, and for an MMO to come out right now, and then top that, with, with the short attention span that the gamers have these days, that it's like, play it, beat it, and go. Uh, I don't see anything, anything really dethroned in WoW. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to sound like a fanboy, but, but when you put all the facts together, it's tough. Like, like to, to be honest, honest true, I wouldn't want to pay $15 anymore for WoW than anybody else. But I wouldn't want to pay $15 for a game that might have no longevity either. You know, so if you buy WoWstar and you decide to play it, I would say play it without comparing it. Try to enjoy it as much as you can, and just have fun. Because if you stay there and you start comparing which one's better, which one do I enjoy more, it's tough. Because you might like Wildstar just because it's a different change of pace, a different look, a different atmosphere, something you haven't been in for a long time. You know, but then there's games like ESO that came out with all this hype about being this and being that, and I believe, like, a couple of months after it released, it died. I mean, it's it's there, but I don't see people talking about it like they did before. And especially, you don't see people 
streaming it too much on Twitch. That's the best indication of how good the game is. People are streaming it because people want to see it. People want to play it. You'll see it on Twitch. Um, now, is this game worth? Is it hype or legit? I think it's legit. For 60 bucks for 30 days, and you decide if you want to pay 15 Um, For the summer, right now, I think it's a good game. I think it's a good game. Is it going to last for a few years? I don't know. I really can't say that. I could tell you this, though. The games, the titles under NC Soft. Or Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2, Lineage 2, and in this game. So I think it'll be there. I think it has the potential to last a while. Because as you can tell, NCSoft knows what they're doing when it comes to MMOs. Or at least they represent the MMOs that have uh, longevity. Um, again, I'm not saying the content's going to be better than WoW. That's all preference. But I enjoy it. I would, I would say, say it's definitely legit. legit. Go, Go ahead and get, get it for 60 bucks. If you don't like it, you, you at least, least get to play for 30 days, um, and, and you, you don't have, have to subscribe again. If you do like it, you can, can go ahead and subscribe, subscribe or you can, can actually pay with, with in-game. With some, some in-game money that you can get, um, I'm not too familiar on the details on that. When I get more information, I'll post it and the information on under the video. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is uh, Stephen Hawking from K2 Gaming. And uh, you guys uh, have a good one.